All right, so I have some updates for you guys. Um, I've been working kind of all day today on some parts of the car. Uh, it's coming on pretty nicely. Um, as you can see, I divided up lots of parts and colors too. Um, this one, just kind of showing you the rear fender area, how I actually even incorporate some of the wheel well housing and things like that to clear the, the rear wheels. Um, color coded the front bumper, um, the front fender area. Uh, and this one is interesting. It's the uh, actual the carbon fiber fins, and I was trying to figure out how I can make that. I'm probably gonna 3D print them, uh, and then I'm gonna install them onto the, the side skirt later. So you can see I color coded it because I'm gonna print this one separately from the other one. Because in production, I'm actually gonna have to make these separately so we can make a mold of things. Um, if it's reprinted, it's fine, but you have to kind of think about how you're gonna make this too. So I'm gonna make this part separate from the one on the left. Um, and I'm going to attach those two together, as you can see from here, with some kind of flange. And then it's going to be one piece with the um, front fender, and it's going to attach into this side skirt, the carbon fiber side skirt piece that you can also see that I made here. Um, so this one's like, interesting because it, it's actually a side skirt extension because the GTS kind of rolls under. I want to kind of pull it out a little bit. So that's where it's going to start. I have to fill this up later, and then I'm gonna actually have an add-on carbon fiber side uh, skirt that kind of gets installed on there. You have to really think about the draft angles too. So you know, draft angles along with the radius. So you know, as you're building this, you have to really think about how it's gonna be built, and also too. So you cannot, you have to kind of really think about the, um, the way it assembles and way it, uh, the drafts and what it's gonna be made out of and things like that. Especially if it's gonna be carbon fiber or fiberglass, you have to make sure there's a draft angle. Um, so that's something you have to really think about. So it's not just mindlessly building surfaces. You have to actually think, okay, how I'm going to build this. So um, it's going to be about three, four pieces. And um, yeah, so that's kind of how I was building it. Uh, I think you can kind of see the whole car now. Um, it's coming along, coming along pretty nicely. Again, the surface is, yeah, I'm, I'm like 8% happy with it. There's some areas that's kind of broken, but uh, I'm going to eventually smooth that out. Um, but right now, the really important point uh, thing is the hard points, you know, where the fenders meet at the body, uh, the, make the thickness, minimum 2.8 millimeter thickness. All that's really important, which I already kind of have it all set up. So now it's just building surface and smoothing things out. Um, you can see with uh, the blades layer like that. So, you know, there's, you know, that's kind of the things you have to think about when you're building your own kind of a custom you know, body kits and things like that, you know, you have to think about um, how it's going to be attached, the minimum thickness, um, and all those sorts of things. For example, when I show you here by the corner, um, I actually, what I did was I projected a curve on the surface of the stock GTS, and I made exact curve and I pulled out two and a half, uh, 2.8 millimeters. Um, I did that for the front fender, rear fender, everything. So the minimum thickness of any area of the kit should be at least 2.8 millimeters thickness. Um, this one's kind of interesting. I have actually a, a vent or a, a pocket where the air kind of goes into the rear tire. Um, so that should be pretty cool. The same with this one, you know, some kind of air outlet for the front. So I think that's going to be given nice little details and all that's going to be carbon fiber. So it's going to be pretty cool. So yeah, it should be pretty interesting. Just kind of show you guys with the whole image here. Um, you know, I think the next thing for me now is um, I'm waiting for the, the surface of the, you know, the stock GTS alias surface. Because what's going to be interesting is that surface of the, um, the current stock um, GTS is going to be the B side of the fender flares and the body kit, right? So when you put them on together, it's going to be flush. And it's going to fit nice like a glove. So I'm just waiting for the surface and I'm going to build the, the current data right now and kind of merge onto the second set. So that's how I'm gonna be producing this kit. So that's gonna be the next video, hopefully, if I get the, the surface on time. Um, if not, then I'll probably just move on to the front or just detail things out. So yeah, so that's kind of the, the progress at this point. And uh, hopefully I'll have some more for you guys next time.